okay, so you're doing kung fu, and uh, the families are keeping things secret. Um, I, I, why kata? Like, why was that your main thing? Because you were a champion, you probably won more kata uh, competitions than anybody. Like, why did that interest you so much? Hey guys, before we get into the video, I want to tell you about the next big content creator platform. Fans follow me. Fans follow dot me. FFM. Check it out. Linked in the description below. All the information's there. So, I'm a founding member of the platform. I'm the director, so there's a reason why I bring it up. Obviously, I want it to be successful. I'm going to push it, but there is a bigger, grander vision here that I think will really interest you guys and also provide some opportunities. But just a quick summary, what exactly is a content creator platform? Well, there are platforms like Patreon, like OnlyFans, though that obviously is skewed more towards an adult type content that's not safe for work. Fans Follow Me is a much more respectable platform and we do welcome content creators of all kinds, of course, but our big push and focus is really gonna be in the martial arts community, fitness, bodybuilding, and combat sports. And we already got a lot of really great bare knuckle boxers on there. We're gonna get some amazing boxing legends champions on there uh, we got a lot of great martial artists we're going to obviously get more you will recognize a lot of these names we already got muhammad kisi aka tong po from kickboxer i'm on there of course i'll be putting out uh exclusive content you know cool behind the scenes stuff and more so the content creator platforms in general it's a way to support your favorite content creator slash celebrity slash sports athlete but in doing so you can directly connect with them so it's mutually beneficial all around it's really cool but as far as the grand vision goes Obviously, I meet a lot of people on the channel. I do a lot of networking. I know writers, directors, actors, stuntmen, and more. And I want to do nothing more and be a part of bringing that magic of the 80s and 90s back. As far as like those kind of action and martial arts films, which let, let's face it, they don't really have the quality anymore. I mean, you, you do have some good ones here and there, but in general, um, it, it's not quite there. The magic's kind of gone in a lot of ways, but... Once fans follow me blows up, me and my partners, we are going to finance these films. Minimum co-finance. It depends on the budget of these films. But there's a few projects in mind already that I know are going to be fantastic. And if you're a martial artist or an actor, by the way, create a profile on the platform because we will be watching. We will be farming talent, so to speak. It'll be part of the casting process to get in these projects. So create a profile. And if, you, if you're not a content creator support some of the people on the platform there's going to be a lot of really amazing uh names on there and you'll get that exclusive content and that direct access and if you know content creators recruit them over because there's incentive to do so you'll find out all the information on the homepage. fans follow me check out the link and let's blow this thing up because 80s and 90s we gotta make these kind of films again and i will do whatever i can to blow this platform up make money and put it to finance these films and use some of you guys if you, that's actually what you're interested in. So it's all part of this grand big vision. Amazing book, The Journey of an Artist. You guys need to get it, but let's oh boy, get oh it. Well, I got mine from Amazon. You can probably get it from G, GrandmasterAirsLee.com, right? Amazon. I got it from Amazon. Yeah, it's. I don't want to go keep going to post. Yeah, it's, it's just get it from Amazon, guys. That's where I'm I got it. Right? Make his life easier. So I'll just write a book, that's all. Yeah, this great book. I like this book very much. Are you sure? I, I guess. Yeah, I pay you enough money to say that. <laughs> barely, barely. Uh, <laughs> just enough, man. Um, so I do recommend it. No, just and Maybe. <laughs> you buy me lunch afterwards, right? No yeah, problem. Okay. Then, yeah, buy the book, guys. But let's just, because um, I always like to ask people about their martial arts history. So obviously, it's very thoroughly covered in the book. Let's just get a little clip notes version on when you started martial arts. Like, so what kind of martial artist are you, basically? You know, martial art is like, to me, it's like American Mickey Mouse, Coca Cola, Elvis Presley, French fries. It, I've been doing it all my life, so it doesn't really matter. My father is a martial artist also. Okay. And totally fucked. And I was watching him train when he was two years old. <laughs> uh, when I was two years old. That's a long time ago, yeah? Yeah, it would be a long time ago. The house looked small, but now I look at the wow, house so really smaller. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that was in China. How did I start martial arts? 
Okay, my grandma took me to Chinese opera. They were rapping, rapping. They were rapping. They were okay. just like here. Yeah, sure. And uh, they rap, you know. So the Chinese opera rap, they have somebody called stage martial arts. And Quan Da Ping, he always played the lead guy. And I was watching the black and the white movie in Hong Kong. I was born in China, I went to Hong Kong, and then I went to Hong Kong, and then I saw all these Kung Fu heroes. Uh, but uh, when, uh, because my father studied a style called Choi Lei Fai. Choi style, Li style, and Buddhist style, actually three style combined together. As you know, in the old days, they don't talk to each other. Mm -hmm. They don't talk to each other because everybody in martial arts, in the old days, unfortunately, there's a lot of protecting himself, uh, so-called ego, whatever you call it. That's why you got to go beyond the ego. But it's, a lot of my friends tell me they are good at what they do, I'm not good at what they do. It's true, that's why they're good at what they do, but they don't have to. I want to learn what they do. Okay, can you describe, because you talk about it a little bit in the book, Okay. like with the different Kung Fu styles, for example, it's kind of based on, on the family name and history, and the families keep these techniques like secrets so other people can't use them against them. Like, is that really the history of Kung Fu, how they have these different styles? What's your style? My style? You can call it the art of fighting without fighting. Well, actually, as you know, uh, martial arts, in the old days, we put a gun in Venice. The fighting skill or the weapon, that's what it got. It's like the sword, uh, like we have one in here, is like M16. You know this? Yeah, they sure. kept it secret because they don't want people to know they know something because it's like when you have a gun, you don't want to tell your enemy where you put your gun, do you? Not, not where I put it, but it could be used as a deterrent. Like if somebody knows I'm armed, they may not mess with me, right? Um, most of the country, you cannot carry the gun. You know that. Yeah, can still carry it. <laughs> some country, some place you can, like certain things, mm -hmm. like Texas. Yeah. Uh, but you don't want to expose yourself. No, you don't want to expose. But it does make sense that it could also be a deterrent. Like, for example, if somebody knew that you were a grandmaster in Kung Fu, they'd probably say, pass, <laughs> I'll mug this dude instead, this other guy. <laughs> As you know, you know why you go Grandmaster? Mm -hmm. Because when they bend down, they can get up. <laughs> okay. Okay? Yeah. So, I mean, let's face it. Anybody can be hit. If you if you hit by a big a truck, you're going to go down. It doesn't matter you 200,000 degree black belt. So what? Yeah, you're it's still cool up. in your obituary, though. Well, that's the reality. <laughs> yeah. if, if somebody hit you, like we talked about this before, if somebody knocked me out by 8 by 10, well, I don't know if I can say this or not. Uh, commercially, they might, I might get trouble for it. Let's say 8 by 10 is from a company that makes 8 by 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you're doing Kung Fu, and the families are keeping things secret. Um, uh, why kata? Like, why was that your main thing? Because you were a champion, you probably won more kata uh, competitions than anybody. Like, why did that interest you so much? Well, I think uh, I'm really interested because I'm small. I'm weight 158 pounds right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I, I live in, the, I was born in China and live in Hong Kong, but when I was in the uh, open, big guy, I was in, oh, I really take martial arts seriously, and then I, I think, when I first, I was, when somebody chopped me on the neck, and then he go, <coughs> and hit me on the neck, I said, oh, and I was dying on the football field, almost dead, and then for a like, few hours, I couldn't get up, so next day, I went to study with many instructor, Kung Fu instructor, they all teach me form. Okay. And then I said, I want to learn you how to fight. You need to protect fight. yourself. Yeah, I want to learn yeah. how to fight. The guy just said, just do what I tell you to do. Forget it. Okay. Bow to me. Don't ask questions. So I did for okay. many years. Okay. And then later on, I saw somebody uh, that 
in president 1968 before that I was studying already and then he was doing multi multi man attack it's multi man attack okay. you know what it is reaction yeah, sure. and then uh, fast and everything and I said that's what I want to know how to fight mm -hmm. so that's why I got interested but form to me the thing I didn't get I, I did a few things, I broke the nose, fingers, and hurt my knees, and things like that. Uh, but form to me just opened up the chi flow, energy flow. Okay, if I do, let's say I do a form like this, real slow, okay, it becomes healing heart rate. If I become fast, it becomes martial arts. So I can take any movement, including boxing, sort of kind, whatever style they do, do it slowly and relax. Because in reality, when you relax, your chi will flow. And when you go see the sport like boxing, UFC, sometimes they wear gloves. And I, I, I hate to see guys, you know, elbow got hurt, they got knocked down. They should see an ER next day, by the way, because they got brain damage. Football, contact sport like hockey, football, boxing. Self-defense is not about getting hit, it's, it's self-defense. Yeah, get out the way, man. You know, um, get away. <laughs> and anybody can get hurt, you know that. Oh, of course. Okay, now, this, when they got hit, this called last jaw. Actually, it's a pressure point. Right here, between here, this point right here, mm -hmm. that stomach. Fine. Doesn't take much. Boom! Done. Done. That's it. Yeah. And they got knocked out, but if I go hit here, yes, then they can breathe. But the, the other, some of the stuff are so dangerous, it doesn't make that pick that much to pick somebody out. Because, you know, I'm a nice guy, I try to be nice. No matter how famous you are, how rich you are, how poor you are, same to me. So, we just like Tom Cruise, I saw an interview, somebody told him a rotten tomato. He was very calm and very nice. I, well, I, told me, told me, oh, I wasn't doing anything. He could have his security arrested. Oh, yeah, he didn't sure. do it. Yeah. So no matter how well you are, how tough you are, just let's be cool. Yeah, as you know, in reality, we are white belt with everything we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. We're completely white belt. Yeah, and you should still have that mindset. Like when I trained with uh, our mutual friend Don the Dragon Wilson earlier. Yeah. You and Sean Penn are my two prime Oh, students. wow, look at that, man. Yeah. I'm yeah. in good company. Uh, I go in there like a white belt and I soak everything up like a sponge. Of course. I mean, this guy's had so many fights, so many titles, so many defenses. So I'm going there learn everything. I don't care about my 28 years of, of martial arts training because I'm just going there with an open, empty cup, right, to be filled by Don the Dragon Wilson. Yeah. It's great well, stuff. We learn from everybody. Yeah, sure. And from kids, actually in reality, if you're an instructor, you are basically learn about you. You are a student of yourself. Yeah, you learn more by teaching other people, I've noticed. You know, like when I, I try to teach somebody something, it's like, then I even learn more about it, you know, uh, which is cool. Hey, let's go back to Potter real quick. So because you were so successful and dominant, like, how? Like, how, how did you train for this stuff? What made you so much better than everybody else? No, I can't talk about that. Okay, first of all, I went to see how, for little guy, how we get maximum explosive power. Okay. Oh, I want to know that. You talked about that with... Um... No, 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 let me finish the rest. Yeah, yeah, and then we'll... Because we'll, I highlighted that. But and then me. second, so I learned from somebody, they not necessarily have to be martial artists. I learned, okay, how do you, how do you have the most charisma? Okay, like, okay, you talking about Elvis Presley, and he got a lot of charisma, and how do you do that? How, okay, what, what do you eat, and how long before you got the maximum energy, and how do you psych yourself up, and how you psych up your competitor, okay, and how you be, make the audience like you, and the judge respect you, you respect them. Yeah. Okay, so, it's only a sport. For me, it's just uh, performance. Sure. Yeah, sure. Only a sport. So, you know, um, so, and 
I got relaxed like the people who came to visit. I just tell a couple of jokes. They relax. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you want to relax. You don't want to have stage fright and it's all you know all nervous and everything before you compete. So how do you get the most endurance? So you run a lot. You know, I do have a lot of endurance. Yeah. yeah. I still do. Even today, I swim. I'm a swimmer too. Yeah, I swim. I sing. And you swam like, here, right? Huh? You swam here today, didn't you? Uh, this you? morning I didn't have time, yeah. oh, okay. but I will later on. <laughs> but I I swim like ten laps every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I I can tell you right now I cannot tell the viewer what I eat, what uh, what do you eat, and you should consult your doctor before a nutrition somebody more qualified. But I do give us the secrets, man. <laughs> okay, there's no secret. There's no. It's what I eat. I eat every day. Okay. There's no secret. You have to eat every day. Yeah, that's the only secret. three things you need: oxygen, water, and some food. And you don't need twenty-five million dollar home. Mm -hmm. What I do is I do um, garlic. Okay, garlic. Garlic. Chop it up. Okay. Lemon. Mm -hmm. So for your pH. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Every day. Garlic and lemon. There we so go. I don't get sick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I cannot tell you what it does for you. You have to do your own research, Google, whatever. But do your own research. Please. Yeah, we're not gonna make that easy. I yeah. cannot do it because I'm not qualified to tell because it's so heavy country. We gotta be careful. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so you got your endurance. How'd you build all your explosive power? Um, you watch who's got it. Only a few people that I know. In my history, in my entire career, I have the explosive power. Okay, I know you've been doing martial a long time. Okay, let's say I can tell you this. Don't call me on this. You put uh, okay for speed, as you know, your mind, mm -hmm. your eye, your mind, and your body all synchronized as one. Okay, explosive power. You watch people how to do like you do. If I jump somebody, you know, jump, you have to have the power. Like Bruce Lee said, have it. Mr. Parker, have it. And then many, a few other people have it. And they, uh, they are not bigger than we are. Uh, actually, they are just know how to do is how you release. It's like a soft absorber. You got, uh, uh, you know, you got coil here, and then you have a tube here. All of a sudden, you just boom, come out. Okay, that's it. Okay, it's like a tree, you know, boom, like that, a tree shake, and then you boom. You can you feel it. You, you, you visualize that. No, you just do it. That's all. <laughs> you talk about visualization a lot, too, for, for the cottage, right? Well, visualization, like I used to visualize everything. Okay, I'm going to get the grand champion. Okay, this is what I get on stage. The whole place light up, just like that. Mm. Okay, and then the beginning. Powerful, the middle powerful, at the end, extra on your powerful. And then you stop right there. When people want more, you just stop. Okay.